I spend a lot of time browsing online stores looking for new tech and new gear. Partly because, you know, I want to see how I can upgrade my home video production, but partly also because I just really like new toys. And the things that always catch my eye are the really cheap stuff. Like, look at this lavalier for just under 30 ringgit and this on-camera microphone for just 50 ringgit. For context, this is the microphone that we use in the office. Like, how can something that does the same thing have this big of a price gap? Seriously, how good can these cheap microphones really be? Well, let's find out. Okay, I think the first thing that you'll notice is that the packaging definitely isn't going to be like a Sennheiser microphone. And in the case of this Boya BY-M1 lavalier, it looks like someone drove over it a couple of times before they dropped it off to me. But you know, you still do get a pretty amount of kit. You get a nice little drawstring bag to keep the mic, you get the microphone itself, a clip, a foam windshield, as well as a quarter inch adapter. Not bad. The Boya BY-MM1 on-camera microphone also comes with a bunch of stuff. You get the mic, a shock mount, a drawstring bag, windscreen, and one cable for your smartphone, and one cable for your camera. So as far as setup goes, it's also super straightforward. The on-camera mic just goes into the shock mount and on the camera, and then you plug it in and you're good to go. The lavalier though needs a little bit of setup because it's actually battery powered and the battery was just an absolute bit to get in. Why is this even a thing? Oh. But once it's in, you can flick the switch to go between the smartphone and camera. <laughs> Super easy. But now, the most important thing. How do they sound? Now, I don't live in a sound-treated environment. That's why we are here in my bedroom. You know, the room in the house with the most amount of soft things to absorb any kind of stray bouncing audio. And all the audio that you're listening to right now is straight from the um, Boya BY-M1 lavalier and it goes directly into the Sony A6600. Uh, and I'm not going to do any kind of post-processing to sort of um, change how the tone or anything sounds. Um, but I will probably adjust like the audio levels to match uh, the rest of this video. Oh, I say I, but actually Zach's gonna be doing it. Now though, we're over to the Boya BY MM1 on-camera microphone and you know, the difference in sound should be quite noticeable. Uh, the camera and microphone is about like a little bit more than an arm's length away from my face, which is a little bit further than you usually want, like normally with on-camera microphones or if you're vlogging or whatever, you really want like the microphone as close to your face or your mouth as possible so that it really can just isolate your voice and cut out all the background noise. But you know, my lens here just isn't wide enough so I can't really do that. This is like the nearest can do without it like being all up in my face. That being said though, this kind of environment isn't really the environment that you'd want to use a um, on-camera microphone. So hang on, let me just this is probably where you'd want to use um, a microphone like this, you know, the outdoors where you don't want to have to faff about with cables um, and you know, all that kind of thing. You want to move around a lot, so an on-camera microphone is really useful here. And also, the uh, giant windscreen should do a good job at sort of like filtering out any kind of wind noise. Um, it's not super windy right now, I have to say, so I don't think you're going to hear any of that or I don't think the windscreen is going to work very hard. But yeah, this is pretty much um, the kind of situation that you want to use. We don't really have to worry about echoes or, or you know, reverb or anything like that. So yeah, with, with that being said, test over. Let's get back to the studio or the bedroom. After listening to the audio, um, after that recording, like, the, like the, the audio quality definitely impressed me. It, it sounded like actually 
pretty good and that caught me completely off guard. Uh, and you know, this is all, even though I'm not recording in like a sound booth or the, like the perfect kind of environment for audio recording. That being said, these are cheap mics and there have definitely been some compromises. The lavalier, for example, is a wired setup, which is not something that I prefer because wires, you know, they can get tangled up and they can get in the way. And there isn't like really a proper way to secure the wires to the camera's body or whatever. So it's sort of like all just dangling from the three and a half millimeter mic port. And that can put stress on the mic port and also sort of introduce any kind of like um, static or unwanted sound. They can also potentially loosen the connection if they swing around too much and that's really not what you want. The build also isn't what I'd call reassuring. The, this piece is nice and metal but the button feels very flimsy and the mic capsule itself is like Barbie. Fantastic in plastic. Uh, it's also a very big module with a very big clip that has big sharp teeth. So it definitely stands out more than something that you'd find on a more expensive lavalier. And when you do plug it into the camera, it only records to one channel. In this case, it's just the left channel, uh, which, which can make it quite annoying to monitor. Of course, you can easily duplicate it in post. So at the end of the day, it's not a huge deal. The on-camera microphone though is definitely the better built of the two. The one thing that I'm not particularly confident in is the shock mount because it doesn't look like it will absorb much shock. Plus it also looks really flimsy so don't expect it to last forever. But that's pretty much all the complaints that I have with the Boya microphones. I mean for 30 and 50 ringgit each, um, there really isn't a whole lot to complain about and they're actually quite impressive. So, you know, I definitely recommend it to anyone who's thinking of, you know, taking that next step into improving their audio from what um, they would get from like using a camera's built-in microphone, for example. And I think audio is really important for films. People like to say that audio is 50% of a good video, but if you ask me personally, I think having good audio is way more important. Like, I think I would be able to sit through a film with terrible video, but amazing audio, but I don't think I would be able to do it the other way around. Of course, I'm not gonna be like, oh my God, these are the only microphones you should buy. No, because the more expensive Sennheisers we use in the office are definitely better. They have a whole bunch of other improvements that, are go, that go beyond just you know raw sound quality. But the Boyas are a great starting point, and I think that it's way more important to think about where you're recording audio than necessarily what you're recording the audio with. And in case you haven't picked up on it already, actually all the audio that I've recorded um, for this video, like you know, the voiceovers and stuff like that, they were all recorded with the Boya BYM1 lavalier microphone. So, you know, I have to say that I think that it's definitely good enough so that it doesn't distract from your content. And when it comes to microphones or audio, like that's really all you really need. Anyway, that's it for this video. Thank you so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed it. Um, let me know what you think of the sound quality from both of the Boya microphones and you know, would you buy one yourself? Again, you know, I like to clarify, nobody sent me this. I bought this with my own money. In fact, I didn't even ask Soya Chin Chow to subsidize, which I think was a bit stupid, but I just really wanted to know like how good the sound was. So yeah, that's that. And also one more disclaimer, I know they, these are actually not, of course, not the cheapest microphones you can buy online. I found some for like 8 ringgit 90 cent, but those are like brandless and, and it looked really dodgy, so I, I just didn't want to try it. But these were the cheapest branded uh, microphones that I could find. So yeah, if you want me to check out those super duper cheap ones, let me know in the comments below too. And also what else, what other thing you wanna, you wanna find out, you know? If there's anything that you've always like been curious about, let me know in the comment section below and I'll see if I can make something happen. All right, but that's it. I'm going to end the video here. Um, if you like this video, be sure to give it a thumbs up. Don't forget to subscribe to our YouTube channel. Like us on Facebook. You can also um, visit our home on the internet, which is at soyachinchow.com. And you know, let me know, let them know that you love me. Okay, bye-bye. I'll see you in the next video.